Every week, Will and I tell you the revolutionaries are here, they're on our shores, they're in our country. Here's proof from Brooklyn, New York. You know, we talk about this every week, Will Johnson. You and I have been saying it. The revolution is here. The bad guys have come to America. The terrorists are already here. I've got the proof. I want you to see, this was in Brooklyn two days ago. I want you to see what's going on on America's streets. Watch closely. This isn't foreign countries. This isn't over there. This is New York City right now this week. If you were one of those police officers protecting that, being called a fascist pig and an invading army, and they're accusing you of ripping the shirts off the ladies on the street, how would you feel that that was your duty to keep them safe? I would feel disgusted with it, but you know, that's, I hate to say this, that's part of free speech. I mean, you know, calling the police officer a pig, they've, de they've deemed that as free speech because you're just, you know, disagreeing. You're calling them a name. But the police officers had a right to arrest her because she said that Joe Biden, the nut job in the White House, is going to die. They should have went and arrested her and questioned her then. They should have stopped it. They should have shut it down. What are you talking about? He's going to die. Now you're putting out threats. And even if she herself is not going to be the one to do the stabbing, pull the trigger, set off the bomb, what have you, whatever it is that she's uh, suggesting to do. She's planting the seed for other people to do it. It's like going into the movie theater, Barry, and screaming fire. You can't do that. That's when they draw the line. But the police officer just standing there and not doing nothing when they hear her saying it. They should have arrested that's, her right then. Because they're that being, alone. That's politically correct. They are not interfering with revolutionaries who are talking about the fact that they will win because they're talking about jihad by immigration and population, meaning they're having six and seven and eight kids per family. Yeah. And eventually it'll be like Dearborn where they control through the ballot box who gets elected and therefore what the policies of America are. This lady is not keeping it a secret. 
She's very clear about it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm on the microphone and not only Joe Biden calling for Joe Biden to be dead. She's talking about his generation, you know, talking about anyone. Basically, what the way I'm perceiving this and I'm perceiving it is she's saying that any American that supports Israel, she's calling for the death of them. Oh, all yeah. of us. That's I mean, let's just keep it real. Right. That's what she's essentially saying. And and when you are actually inciting violence in that manner, you have the police have every right to arrest her. The fact that they didn't arrest her is alarming. It, it's terrifying. And it's an example of what's going on in city after city across America. Will they are here. You're right. And we don't know how many of their supporters have come through the southern border young military age men trained. I mean, they've caught hundreds on the terror watch list that you don't know about, let alone the ones that got away, let alone the ones that we never even caught. Let alone the ones that Marcus was asked about that we did catch that was on the list and they still let them go into the population. And then Marcus was asked, where are they? We don't know. Did you put, did you think to put anchor braces on them? No, we didn't. They let them into the population. Where are they? You're right. You're right.